Adaptable Solutions for Green Living. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 210. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 210, April 2nd, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, completed the second 50% of the mind map for the diversity lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, as you see here. We also continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the human body lesson plan and the information lesson plan. This brings us to 5 of 52 finished, which is 10% completion. And the core team continued creation of the renders for the ultimate classroom adding subject-related items to the red room, which is health and nutrition, the orange room, which is English, the yellow room, math, and the green room, science. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued adding people and elements from the learning tools and toys research we've done to create these two final renders of the blue and indigo rooms from the Ultimate Classroom. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed her second round of edits and image editions and descriptions for the learning tools and toys page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team edited and created instructions and an example in the recipe section of the food bars page, as you see here, bringing the page to approximately 21% completion. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team completed another round updating the AutoCAD file for the EarthBag Village PON1 to the new standardized format shown here. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her eighth week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she updated the hatch and ladder, added new piping details, and research cost and water saving specifics, all shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his eighth week helping with the heat recycling Camino Eco Shower and Vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was AutoCAD updates and adding in the urine separating toilet piping details and solid works as shown here. Fernando Romolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, and Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, also continued with their 14th week of work on the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus, as shown here, was on the pin and hinge systems to secure the emptying chamber to the pallet jack and assist with dumping. And Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed another round of edits and revisions to produce the Straw Bale Village search engine 2.0 and Highest Good Food search engine 4.0.
You can see some of this ongoing work here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 62 of Dean's work. This week's focus was finishing this new inside the southeast wing looking south and further development of this loft view looking north. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 36th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was final placement on the front benches, planters, and brick patterns and beginning the addition of the back landscape details too, as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team created a new outside render of the city center that includes the new structural support details. The core team also created this new merged render from the updated outside image of the city center. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 33rd week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was completing lighting analysis and placement for the second floor living dome bedrooms and bathrooms, as shown here. And Jin Shi Feng, environmental consultant, continued her research helping us create an in-depth washing machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 23rd week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was researching and contacting industrial laundry machine providers. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. What you see here are a couple photos from the weekly collaborative calls and this week's focus of beginning to write the microgrid design and implementation tutorial. Hanan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 13th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was adding in the library furniture details, basement refrigeration and freezer units, bridge over the pond out front, urinals in all the bathrooms, and other design updates. And Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her ninth week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was integration of pages of feedback and updates to the column foundation and base plate tutorials, as shown here. And Adrian gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her 13th week helping. This week's focus was continuing the city center heating and air conditioning load calculations by evaluating the city center room by room with occupancy and use projections. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created the final generation of Amazon Smile and GoodShop promotional graphics. You can see these graphics here, showing a different graphic for each of these nonprofit fundraising options and for each of the times of year we intend to promote for support using the new open source and replicable annual social media strategy. Somia Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, joined the team and completed her first week of work on the Highest Good Network. Her focus this week was learning about the program, outlining her intended development process, and drawing the application workflow. One community is creating adaptable solutions for green living. By adaptable, they are open source and free shared so that they can be replicated as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration, self-sufficient and sustainable village model. What we're doing is we are open sourcing and free sharing the do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of an evolution of sustainability that combines physical foundations of the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as education, economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together to teach people how to live sustainably, but to provide to also provide all the adaptable solutions for green living that are necessary so that anybody that like to enter into sustainability, would like to participate in sustainability, would like to start some aspect of sustainability in their life has a way to do that, a way that is open source and free shared so it's adaptable, modifiable, and can be uh, changed to address the differing, different values and needs of different people and groups around the world.
Our goal is that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And the ultimate expression of one community is the teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that's designed to create more adaptable solutions for green living. While constantly evolving and growing and adapting everything that it is that we do for differing situations and working with a global collaborative of people around the world doing the same thing. Creating that foundation for teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs so that people can replicate them anywhere in the world, share their adaptations in a central hub, and open source and free share all the components in ways that other people can take and use in the way that they want. Those components, once again, being food, energy, housing, the physical foundations of sustainability, and the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are high, we call high school education, high school economic models, fulfilled living uh, practices, and true earth stewardship. If we can do this, we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough. We want to build a global collaborative, and we are building a global collaborative, of people with a consciousness for the highest good of all. People that believe that now is the time to create the world that we want. That the technology exists, and all that's necessary is the know-how, the time and energy put into creating the instructions, the tutorials, the blueprints, the starting points, which we call open source project launch blueprinting meaning we are open sourcing the blueprints necessary to launch additional projects or for people to be able to launch a project identical to ours. This is how one community is creating world change. This is how we're creating adaptable solutions for green living that anybody can use anywhere. And we invite you to join us. If this sounds interesting to you, if it sounds fun to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something that you would like to participate in, we've got lots of different ways to join our team, to get involved, to do, to become a part of creating history. The next great step in the human story is happening right now. And there's lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the pioneer team who will move to the property, build everything in this one community, live there and host what will eventually be hundreds of thousands of people, or just through volunteering behind the scenes and sharing your knowledge with uh, in the specific areas that we're working on to help us develop all these open source components. We're all volunteers. They're a 100% volunteer team. So there's lots of opportunities to join as a volunteer. Or if you like the easiest way to help one community, to be a part of what it is that we're doing, share information on social media. Like our information on social media. Give us a thumbs up here and there. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on Tumblr. We are on Twitter. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. And about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information that we are creating and for people to share the information that we're creating. Our goal is to get the world out there and to inspire a generation, a new generation of sustainability, of people creating a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way they're living right now, and living that way and sharing that, making it easier and easier for others to live that way as well. This is what we're doing. This is how we're creating adaptable solutions for green living. Of course, people ask, well, what is the largest thing that people can do to help you? Well, we're still seeking large scale funding. Our primary focus right now is all the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources, but we're still seeking large scale funding so we can get the property off the market that we've been working with now for almost seven years, plus it took us two years to find that property. We have a specific location that we can't disclose until we get the property off the market. So if you or somebody you know has access to the funds to either donate to the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in One Community, we'd like to speak with you. We're creating world change. You're invited to participate in whatever way that works with you. It works for you, and that would be the largest thing that helps us right now. But in the meantime, we're focusing on what just needs to be done. So we're ready to start building when the funding comes in. As I said before, we are a 100% volunteer unpaid organization. I'm not paid for anything I'm doing, and neither is anybody else that's working on our project. So little donations, the $5, the $10, the $50 donations, those things really make a big difference because they cover our operating expenses. And what they don't do is they don't go to a salary or a distribution. They go directly to keeping one community running, maintaining our global website, which is now hundreds, if not, it's probably over a thousand pages at this point, continuing to evolve, continuing to uh, grow and improve and maintain itself. So every dollar that we get, thank you for the small donations. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching to the end. We really appreciate every single person that contributes in whatever way it is that you contribute. Just watching this video and liking this video is a big help, actually. So thanks. If that's the way that you like to help, thank you. If you're somebody who sends us emails, thank you. If you're somebody who makes comments on our information on social media or helps like or share there, thank you. It's all a step in the right direction. And together, 
we can create a world that truly works for everybody. A world built on self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs, spreading around the world, creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative of open source and free shared information for everybody to access, to adapt, to evolve in the way that works best for you or them so that we can create the world that we all know is possible. This is what we're up to. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to everything that is that we're talking about in this update and in all past updates, visit our red blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. There's lots of different ways to get involved. There's lots of different ways to follow our information, and they all work great, and we're grateful if you're even interested because uh, every person that pays attention, every person that helps us share really does make a difference, and this is how we grow the next generation of change makers and create the world that we know is possible, a world that works for everybody. Thanks for following our progress. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.